All right, Kelly, expended a lot of energy to get to Sunday and then just seemed to maybe hit a little bit of a wall in that third quarter. What, how would you break down where things just got away from you? Yeah, you know, I think the so, – sometimes the fatigue is – not just physical, sometimes it's mental and emotional. I thought we had a little bit of that um, throughout the game. It's not an excuse, obviously. They played three games in three days as well, but um, I think we expended a lot of that emotional energy. And, you know, we, we made some mistakes. And the thing that you do or when you're playing South Carolina, they, they capitalize on every mistake. And you, you've got to play your best basketball game to beat them. It, this wasn't our best basketball game. Um, but I, 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 they're they're that good. I mean, they're they're really talented. Is there an extra motivation going forward, kind of seeing them getting to this game, but then watching the other team celebrate? Does that kind of push you? You know, I think our players are disappointed. They wanted this opportunity to you know go out there and be the team under the confetti and cut down the nets. But um, I, I do think that they'll be resilient. Uh, I do think they'll bounce back and and be motivated. Um, not not necessarily for the loss, but motivated because of what they still believe we can do. Everybody in the locker room kind of echoed the same message that the plays would come in, but the execution wasn't there. Did you kind of see that tonight as well? Yeah, we had we had some um, we had some breakdowns execution wise, uh, but also I think we we just didn't have uh, we didn't have the bounce. You know, we that we were a little bit. Um, a little bit heavy legged. We we didn't have the quickness to get around, and and they're so good defensively. Um, you, you've got to be spot on, and you know we did not. They don't give you a lot of easy looks, and we weren't able to get the ball to the paint. Their size really affected us there, and they're, I thought they were physical defensively. I thought they really got after us, and you know just made things difficult. So we're having to make jumpers, you know, and and if, you're, if those jumpers aren't falling, then it puts your scoring in a tough spot. Kelly, you said how this team has never given up and the belief of what they could be. And to see that actually happen this weekend, how powerful can that be for them going to the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I think it's important. I think their mindset right now is everything and how we handle this next week and how we handle our preparation. And, you know, whether that is getting your bodies back ready to play basketball, getting your minds ready, is how you're practicing, how you're resting. I mean, I think everything matters now. Um, you know, they, they still they still believe in this team. And I think um, what, what we have to have is an urgency about us now in, in everything that we do. Um, I, I would anticipate we'll see that from them. Um, but, um, you know, they've, they've been resilient. They've, we told them the other day, you know, Ben, don't break. And I think they'll keep doing that. The rookie has obviously impressed all season, but this weekend just found like another level, another level. Um, how impressive is it to you that it just seems like she always has another level she can reach? Yeah, she's, um, well, she's so talented and obviously, you know, you want to get her the ball and give her some opportunities. Um, you know, she's able to score in so many different ways and I, uh, South Carolina did, I thought they did a good job of making things hard on her and she still scored 17 points. So she's um, she's just super talented and we'll continue to, to work with that. Um, you know, we've got to find some uh, a little bit of balance, make sure that we've got some other people that are confident and knocking down some open shots as well. You mentioned mental fatigue too. I mean, it's a long season. I mean, to get to this point, you've played every maximum game you can since it started. Now it's postseason. You get this nice break. What do you hope to get done? Because you're not traveling for a while. You're not scouting. What do you hope to get done in terms of the next, I guess, 10 days? Yeah, so I think it's it's going to be uh, twofold. I think first, they're, they they need a, a break um, physically and mentally. They just, they need a break. They need to relax and, and then come back refreshed. Um, you know, we, you can look back at the breaks that we've had. You go back to our Christmas break, we come back with a, a pretty good pep in our steps so we want to make sure that we take care of that first because you know, we had some people really go through it and you're like it is a right it is a long season so um, they've been taxed and I think um, in addition to that then we'll get back in the gym you know make sure we're ready to to um, practice and that that's going to be shoring up some things that we already do and then maybe deciding do we need some wrinkles going into the NCAA tournament and give us an opportunity to practice those things. Um, uh, we'll probably scrimmage some in practice, keep things. I want, it, I want them to enjoy this time. I don't want it to be um, something that they're not enjoying, but they, they've, been, they've been good at practice, so I would anticipate they'll enjoy it. One final question. 
No, go ahead. It feels like Jillian's in this another space mentally now that confidence the boys. What were you most impressed by for this weekend? Yeah, I think she's been physical and resilient. Uh, that, she, she's gone up against some of the best players in the country uh, this weekend. And, you know, she, she battled. And I think that's, that's the biggest growth for her throughout the season. Uh, we, we've known how talented she is. That was not ever a question. I mean, you know, we just, we just need to figure out how to get her the ball a little bit more. But, um, you know, her, her competitiveness and, and her uh, toughness has, has really grown. And I love that for her right now and for her future. Thank you all.